You will need a U-Model and Blender, obviously, because that's what we're working with today. I will have a link to U-Model below, and you will also need a 64-bit string that I will also put down in the description, which is the AAS key. So we'll open up U-Model, and we have this window. We are going to locate the game pack files, which you, if you have it installed with Steam, which most people probably do, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, find the main game folder, and we're going to go to Red, Content, Double click packs, and there's nothing in here that you can see, that's okay. We're going to select that folder. Turn on override game detection, go to Unreal Engine 4, and we're going to change it to 4.25 for that first drive. Uh, this is not going to be exporting any audio. If you want to export audio, you would turn on sound, and then you would only be able to export sound only, but we're doing meshes right now. Uh, after that, you can hit OK, and this is where you put the string that I will put down in the description into it. We have a second, and we have this now come up. We'll hide everything except for this main red folder, and we're going to go to content, and this is where we're going to see the main bulk of all the assets for the game. Uh, most people are going to be doing the characters, probably the main cast. Uh, the main cast can be found in, you know, let me make this a little bit bigger, in this folder, the red content Kara. This is the main cast, and they are all identified by three three letter strings. You got ANJ, Anji, AXL, Ox Axel, Chip, you know, Common. Coast, this is actually Happy Chaos. Uh, so, just to put all the main characters. If you want a story mode character, though, uh, that would be under ADV, adv or Avatar, and it's sub -Kara. Uh These are all just parts for the uh, animations and whatnot. This is the story mode cast. Uh, unfortunately, these ones aren't named as easily, so you're going to have to just open them up and find out what they are. Some of them are obvious, like you got Nago from the story mode. Uh, just stuff like that. But for the, this tutorial, we're just going to go with one of the main cast. And you know what? We'll go with Axel, because I like Axel. He's a cool guy. So we're going to go into Costume, and first we need the Mesh. So we're going to go into the Mesh folder, and we have these files. Uh, every, one, every Mesh comes with the Body Asset and the Skeleton Asset. Uh, the ones that we're actually going to want are the ones that you can obviously have a larger file size. Uh, but we're just going to do the Body. If we double-click it, it opens up, and we can see the Body. Uh, if we press O... It opens the window up again, and if we look at the other things, we can see his different assets and load them up. Uh, but we need to actually export them. We need to do that. Um, to preface this, if you are exporting for the to re-import back into Strive for mods, this tutorial will not help you right now. This is just for into Blender. Got to preface that. We're going to go into Tools. We're going to go into Options. And we want to set Skeletal Mesh to GLTF and static mesh to GLTF. Both of these is GLTF, and texture format set as TGA. If you do not, you can hit OK, and we can export it through Tools, Export Current Object, and this window will pop up again, unless you have this box checked, which I will then now check for the rest of the video. We hit OK, and if we look into our UModel folder, we can see there's a new folder. Email Explorer, Kara, Axel, Costume 1, Mesh, and we have some the GLTF mesh here. But we need the head as well. So we're going to open it up and we will export the head high. And a quick hotkey for export is Control X. You can see the thing went off and we have another X. After that, we need, we have our, we, after we have whatever we want for the mesh, we need to get the textures for it. So that is under material. And there are a couple textures we need. Uh, I'm going to say that just export the entire material folder with material export folder content. Uh, if you wanted a specific one, you would need to have base, you need ILM and detail. You need both of these for the body, and then axle web for the uh, his weapons and whatnot. And you go into the color selection, and you need base, decal, OLM, SSS. And then B are his weapons. After we've done and exported everything, we can go right in and blender. So if, if you have Blender 2.8 or newer, you have a built-in GLTF importer. So you just got to go GLTF import and then find your model. So U-Model, U-Model export, this is where I have it saved to. Going to go to Kara, Axel, Mesh, and I'm going to import both of the things by shift-clicking them. And before you hit import GLTF, go to this sphere where it says Bone Dur, change it from Temperance to Fortune. There's some issues that can arise with parts of the mesh looking invisible if you have it set to fortune. Or if you have it set to temperance. 
And now we have the model inside of Blender, and we will go over how to fix the model up for Blender use in the next video.